Okay, so we got the lumber all laid out that I did from the car. And I'm just going to walk you through my thought process at the moment. So dealing with the big posts for the bottom section, I'm going to be cutting this one. These two pieces become the top supports. One, two. So I'll cut this in half, dimension it down. I have specific dimensions that are in my cut list, but it could be three inches or it could be two and seven eighths. I really don't care. It's not gonna make any sort of structural difference. Visually, you won't notice much of a difference either. So I'm just gonna mill it until it's six sided square. These two pieces become the foot. So again, cut this one in half, dimension that down till it's six sided square. And then repeat once again for these longer pieces, which are the vertical supports. Again, just cut those in half and dimension them down to their six sided. Now, one thing I ran into when I got to AM was that they didn't have a lot of the Douglas fir in four core. So, in place of that, I decided to go with cypress. Uh, now, in order to rearrange my cut list on the fly, I decided to build the, the carcass frame strictly out of fur. So I got all of the square footage I needed for that, plus the cabinet base, or cabinet shelf, I should say. The rest of the square board footage I needed, I just picked it up in Cypress. So I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work out, but I at least know the base, the footing section will all be out of fur, the exterior, exterior and doors of the cabinet will be out of this quartered Douglas fir. So the cabinet will be out of that, at least on the exterior. And then most of the interior component, components, drawers, all that kind of stuff, it'll end up being out of Cypress. So one thing to consider when you're going to a mill, you may have all of the best intentions to get the perfect material, but if they don't have it, Either you go home empty handed or you make some decisions on the fly. So I just want to explain in a little more detail what happened when I got to the lumber mill. Um, I originally planned to get 42 board feet of four quarter Douglas fir. So when I got there, they didn't have that. So I had to make a decision of was I just going to leave without the material or get something else in its place. So I, saw, I decided to get something else in its place. How I decided to do this was at least see if I have it, could get enough four quarter Douglas fir to complete the exterior of the cabinet. So get the top, bottom, the four sides and the doors so that when you look at it from the outside, it's going to be all of the same. The molding, the base and all of this should be out of the other Douglas fir so that should at least match. So I quickly calculated that square footage based on the cut list. Once I had that, I took the difference and the difference I got all in Cypress. So hopefully it works out. I'm not sure if I got all of the material I need, uh, but we'll find out as I go. Okay, so I'm taking a, free, a few shavings off of this to see how it's gonna go. It's nice and smooth. I think it's gonna play nicely. Um, there's no twist in it. And when I put a level to it, it's got a small hollow. So, which is almost gone already. So I'll just take a few shavings off the edges until it's nice and, uh, until it's nice and smooth. I do need to touch up this iron because there are some wicked plane tracks. Okay, so I just want to come over and show you guys this iron. Um, I was getting some pretty bad plane tracks and hopefully this is in, stay in focus. You can see it. Yeah, I maybe blatant. It's pretty obvious in person. I don't know how obvious it is on camera here but right where my finger is, those little ridges, it's 
it's almost become a toothing iron. So I don't want to happen to this iron last. This is my 30 degree. I was playing in some gnarly cherry, or a student was. I don't know, but that's what's causing all those plane tracks. You can see that. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it there. So we're going to get rid of those and hopefully get a better cut. I actually got this magnified in the uh, this lamp we have here. We use this all the time. It's great. Let's get these out of the valley. Okay, so I've got two, uh, two edges, one face done. Sharpening up that iron helped greatly. You can see it's shining. Very nice.